right, welcome to the front. Front is a new survival open world crafting shooter. You play the role of a resistance fighter sent back in time to stop the rise of the tyrannical faction called the Empire. You need to collect resources, craft technology, build shelters and fight off monsters to accomplish your mission. Uh, the game features uh, sandbox style construction, uh, tower defense style traps, you can craft modern vehicles including tanks and helicopters, uh, it has logical systems and circuits especially for the wiring and for uh, plumbing in this game believe it or not and um, you can raid enemy encampments and bases out in the open world you can recruit followers from NPCs and there is a full planting and cooking mechanism in the game as well currently there is only one map um, it is a war-torn world with different biomes and resources that are unique to those uh, biomes. I well, say unique, but um, large caches of, res of those resources are unique to those biomes. And um, yeah, the, the only other thing I can say is that it is a pretty interesting looking game and uh, we've been having some good fun playing it um, if you haven't already you should go and watch the uh, chaos crew stream that we did on it um, we may be doing more uh, at the time of this recording and um, yeah just uh, good good fun i will be uh, setting up a community server for this game which will be available to not only my community, but uh, the communities of the other Chaos Crew members. That includes Spange and Laney and Iron Wolf as well. So, um, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into the game, and I can go through setting up a basic single-player game for you. Uh, headphone users, beware! The menu music is quite loud, but yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to modify that in the editing. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do I think I might have turned that music down a little bit too much now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do if you want to create a solo PvE game is you're going to go to create solo hosted game in the menu here. You can create a dedicated server, you can access servers as well, official servers, dedicated servers, or hosted solo games if you want to join one of your friends' games. But let's go to hosted uh, solo game, we want to create a solo game. Uh, not, early access notification and here we have a solo game that I've set up it is called series I've limited the players to one so nobody can join your game even if you don't have a password um, there's a bunch of settings here as I said previously there is only one map at the moment that is project war start uh, gameplay mode is PvE or PvP obviously if you're only playing by yourself there's no point in PvP um, advanced server settings, we have our chats, the, these are the same settings for creating a dedicated server or a hosted server, so I'm just going to go over like stuff that's relevant to, um, you know, setting up a single player game. You can, if you want to, unlock all recipes and talents for new characters, we're going to turn that off and save starting inventory size if you want to have progression you want to make use of some of the mechanics of the games with regards to um, gear that you wear and, and, and attachments you can start off at 40 you want to give yourself a bit of a challenge you can make it less or you can just go the whole hog for this particular series of videos and this is not a let's play series this is more just an informational series 
we're gonna go the whole hog on the on the inventory so let's save that um novice protection we don't really need that's fine um this is for items gained on spawn or respawn we're not going to use that either corpse loot permission is obviously you're the only person in the game drop items on death um it's going to be item slots idea that's going to be like inventory slots you could drop none or to drop all this should keep your tool belt are we going to allow structure decay for a solo game i don't think it's really necessary so we can take that off uh, creatures and structures drop items on death yes we all want that allow items discard yes we all want that show blood well that's up to you uh, for a single player game enable profanity i think the only profanity is going to be yours so we don't have to worry about that enable wounded state uh wounded state is a state in which you can still be revived or, or healed by other players you're the only player so you're not going to need that either enable anti-cheat it's probably just better left alone most anti-cheats are better just left alone just don't don't mess with them right discard items despawn time that's five minutes drop items despawn after death that is three times six so uh, 60 minutes is it no wait <laughs> i'll have to do the math on that one and go get back to you um editor Jody put a note in thank you um i'm doing mass on the fly which is never good uh initial respawn cooldowns uh respawn party cooldowns yeah survival and this is where um your game experience modification comes in you can um, increase the resistance rates increase durabilities i'd say start on vanilla keep it exactly as it is so that you get a feel for the game and what you feel because it's going to be different for everybody you want us to to play a game in a certain way you prefer your melee weapons maybe to do a little bit more damage or you prefer your um, range weapons to do a little bit more damage or you want you know more durability out of your range weapons and less durability out of your melee weapons it really comes down to what how you want to play the game so i'm not going to tell you what to modify here i say play play vanilla exactly like it is and then go back because you can always change this you can always go back and change this so you can go back change it play with it figure out what you like and that's a nice customization of, of of the game and you're not stuck with what you have that said however there's a couple of things that I feel I'm missing but um, that relates more to like loot table um, modifying you know how much skill books uh, or ether shards you get uh, uh, you know that kind of thing but we'll get back to that later right da vehicle damages vehicle versus player damage rate not going to be a problem for you vehicle versus structure damage rate and vehicle collection rate how fast you be, it is to pick up a vehicle um right npcs again i'd say um and this is really where you can set the difficulty of the game okay and the respawn rates the starting levels the the drop rates the npc speeds their hp rates um, collectible resource spawn rate, raid corpse drop rate, all this kind of thing. Play it a little bit on vanilla and then come back and modify it and tweak it. And you, you really get an opportunity to build the game you want to play with all the these settings. And it looks daunting, it does. But, uh, you know, play it like this, come back, change, tweak, modify until you get the experience that you want uh structure defense um that's now uh, the beacon limit we'll get to beacons later um beacon tra the turret limit the trap limit all of these things we'll, we'll come back to again same story resource collection rate and this is where you set up how fast you want to progress in the game because at the end of the day 
you gain XP through making things, but you also gain XP through going out, adventuring, killing, you know, um, that kind of stuff. But you need resources to do that. So how quickly you play the game and how difficult the game is, is going to, how difficult the game is, is set under the NPC and how quickly you want to progress is going to be set under collection. Okay. Um, you can also boost under here under survival. It's uh, the collect ex XP collection XP rate, crafting XP rate. Those also modify how quickly you're going to progress. But that's really you know, defines the kind of game that you want to play. How this is your challenge. So the survival aspect is how much of a challenge do you want it to be. Um, NPC is how much, how hard you want the game to be, and collection is how quickly you want to progress. All right, so from here, once you've got all of that set up, okay, make sure you save and then let's start the game. You're going to need to create a character. So we're just going to go with um, old Bob here. Bob is a random guy and he's found himself inexplicably in the past trying to prevent the empire from taking over customization is basic um, it's really nothing fantastic or anything important that we need to go through as far as I'm concerned um, most of the options were plainly visible to you there I will say however that there is a, um, a, 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 a a severe lack of beards in the game. Everyone's very clean shaven for some reason. <laughs> All right, let's get this game started. All right, uh, that's going to close it for this video. Catch the next one, and we will do the startup gameplay, getting yourself started. Thank you very much for watching.